Welcome to Kid Life Ignite. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Hey guys, before we get started, let's start things right and let's pray. Bow your head and close your eyes with me. God, I thank you for my friends here at Kid Life Ignite. I pray right now that they have an awesome time learning all about you, God. Open up their hearts and minds and ears to what you have for them today, God. We thank you so much. In your name we pray. Amen. joyful dancing. You've taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy, that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. Oh Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. You know, he turns our sadness into joy, but sometimes we have to start dancing before we're happy about it. You know, there are times when I get a little bit in my feelings and I just, I just want to stay there, but God's calling me to step into something different and something new. And if I stay there, I'm going to miss out on what He has for me. But if I start dancing, if I start singing, if I start giving thanks, that's when He changes that sadness to joy. So come on, let's dance. Even if we don't feel it, God's going to do something new right here, right now.
Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Everybody feeling the Christmas spirit? How many of you guys are, are in the Christmas spirit right now? Okay, great. Now I got two questions for you and I want you to identify or associate with one of the two questions. Here's the first question. How many of you are super excited to get presents and open your presents? Raise your hand, you're really excited to open your presents. Okay, 
Now the second question, how many of you are really excited to give a gift to someone and watch them open the gift that you've given them? Raise your hand if that's you. Okay, cool. Well, in this series, we're gonna be talking about giving and generosity and what it really means to be a giving and generous person. So let's go to the first week of Christmas with Style. Miss Styles will have to decline that role. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because her co-star can't be an elephant in a tuxedo. This is Wheeler. Wait, Veronica, listen, I need to tell you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No, the contest winners haven't arrived yet. Yes. I will let them know that you're you're being delayed. Peyton Keyes, winner of the Spin the Day with Veronica contest. This is your brother, Foster, and your friend, Daria Pinter. She holds this. She uses this. She touches this. Uh, <laughs> um, how did you know all that? I know everything. Just kidding. See? <laughs> I'm Russ Wheeler. I oversee Veronica's company, Style for Life, and I'm also her agent, her manager, and... Butler? <laughs> More like security. Gotcha. Uh, nice digs. When will she get here? When will she get here? Veronica called before you arrived. She's uh, running a little bit late. But wants to let you know that uh, she's terribly sorry to inconvenience you. It's no trouble at all. We're just excited to meet her. So, why is she late? Promoting a new movie? A new show? Oh wait, she's got a new remix! Style Squared! Actually, she's coaching a local high school drama department. I didn't know she did that. Veronica likes to keep it quiet. She gives a lot of her time to things like that. Except she just doesn't want anyone to know. But why do it if no one knows? <laughs> you have to see this. <laughs> I was in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> what is way more important? This is her hat from her show Pink is the New <laughs> Please don't touch anything. Let's just chill here until Veronica comes back. But did uh, you uh, see? Uh, no. <laughs> no words. We don't need words. So, what's so awesome about this girl anyway? Isn't she just some vain actress? Uh, no, you don't get it. Uh, no, I don't. That's why I asked. Veronica Stiles is outrageous, fantastic. Wait, what does vain mean? <laughs> Veronica's different, Foster. And seriously, what would you do if you were famous? Hmm. Let me think. Peyton, what's happening? <gasps> the president called. He wants to know if he can perform at his daughter's birthday. I don't do birthdays. Uh, call me if your boss to know if you can do a cameo in the new web series. Script. <sighs> a charity wants to know if you would help children learn to read. <sighs> Not my thing. Wait, wait, wait. That's how you handle things. Give only when you care about what you're giving to. That is the most selfish thing I've ever heard. Uh, do you have a better idea? <gasps> wait, I do. <laughs> I 
just tweeted that you gave to the needy? Excellent. What about my time spent helping out the dolphins lost at sea? I forgot. How could you forget? How? I, I don't know. Uh, I'll do it now. It's too late. It's way too late. If no one knew that I gave, then there's no point. You're fired. <laughs> Dream sequence over. I don't know what goes on in your mind sometimes. An endless field of sunshine and rainbows. I'll show you how cool she is. Um, Mr. Wheeler, do you have the interview from last November? The one with Peter Berkeley, right? Mm -hmm. It's, uh, coming on the screen. <laughs> let's be real. Anyway, anyway, but let's be real. You know, I don't, I don't do it because I have to. I do it because I want to. You know, because, because honestly, I'm blessed. You know, I get paid to sing and act and just be goofy. You know, I get paid for that. Think about it. Probably so, me. <laughs> you know, I, I try to give back as much as I can. And we'll be right back after the She's so awesome. See, Foster, it comes from her heart. You guys know, she really doesn't believe this stuff. She's just saying it to sound cool. She isn't even here on time. Yeah, she's a total phony. Exactly. This chick gets it. <laughs> Is your friend okay? <laughs> She'll be fine. Miss Styles. Call me Veronica. <laughs> okay, Veronica. I just want you to know how awesome it is to just meet you. <laughs> well, it's awesome to meet you two. And I'm sorry I was so late. Uh, Wheeler, how much time do we have left? About two hours. All right, let's make this the best two hours ever. Before we do, I have a question. I'm Foster, by the way. Peyton's bro, an all around cool, cute, handsome, athletic guy. Nice to meet you. So, why do you really do all this? Help out the theater kids? Invite these rugrats to hang out? Looks good for the cameras, right? This guy has the charm of a porcupine. <laughs> do you see any cameras around here? I don't do this for the attention. No attention? <laughs> That's cray cray. <laughs> well, when you really care about helping people, it can make you do things a little cray cray. <laughs> like, you guys are on vacation this week, right? Since I was so late, how would you like to hang out all week? And check with their parents to make sure they're cool with this. Great. A wonderful week of tor... <laughs> torrential happiness. I was going to say a wonderful week of torrential happiness, Veronica. I can't believe we get an entire week. It's gonna be like camp. You. We are going to have the most incredible, most amazing week ever. Well, today we just got to meet Veronica Stiles, this huge, popular celebrity who had it going on. She could sing, she could dance, she could act. But as we also saw, behind the scenes, she was actually a really down-to-earth person. She actually cares about people. She actually gives to people and helps people out. She realizes that she has so much and is blessed with so much, so she wants to give back to other people. But here's the thing. Generosity doesn't actually come naturally to us. How many of you guys know somebody who's like around two, three, four years old maybe? How many of you guys know somebody like that? Have you ever watched the way that they behave and act? They whine and scream and complain about the things that they want. If you take their toys, they'll run up to you and say, mine, and take it back. You see, when we're born, we're actually pretty selfish people. Because the reality is, generosity and being a giving person doesn't actually come naturally. But generosity and being giving is supernatural because it's God who has created us that way. It's God who's put generosity and giving in our hearts. And when we give and serve and do for others, we start to come alive because it's the way God created us. Look at what it says in the Bible. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, each one must give as he has decided in his heart, 
not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. We should give and be generous because it's in our hearts, because it's something that we want to do. It's something that we desire to do for others. And we understand that it's the way that God created us and God made us. It says that God puts it in our heart. So let me ask you this question. Would you consider yourself a generous person? Would you say that you're someone who gives often? My prayer for all of you guys is that for the rest of the season that you'll start to learn and, and understand what it means to be a generous person, a person who gives. That the people in your life, your friends, your family, and even strangers will look at you as a person who is genuinely and authentically a giving person. God created everything in the universe including you. You see, God loves you so much and wants to have a friendship with you. But there's a problem. We've all sinned. That means we've all done something wrong, every single one of us. And that sin separates us from God. But there's good news. You and I don't have to be separated anymore. Because of God's great love for us, He sent His only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross and come back to life for us so that we can be made right with Him. All we have to do is choose to make Jesus the leader of our life. How? It's as easy as A, B, C. A. Admit. Admit what you've done wrong and tell God you don't want to sin anymore. B. Believe. Believe that God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven and that you are now right with God. C. Confess. Confess to others that Jesus is the leader of your life and your best friend. Choose to make Jesus the leader of your life. Get to know Him and how much He loves you and make the choice to love Him back.